Hi, my name is Basant Raj Singh, senior composer from India. Today I have this footage and I want to remove this tracking marker. In VFX pipeline, there is dedicated prep department which handles all the complex prep work. But sometimes we compositor supposed to do our own short quick prep. So let's start. In new there are some node which make procedure automated. We have to just guide them. I will talk about such of two nodes. One is marker removal and other is in pent node. So let's first talk about marker removal. Marker removal had just one input connect with that plate and marker removal node requires alpha for the part which needs to be clean. Means if I have to clean this tracking marker, we have to make alpha for this. First let's stabilize this footage. So I have corner pin and connect this and invert this. So now this is stabilized. For the alpha of tracking marker, I have done some roto. This this is one tracking, this is other and all tracking. I deliberately did all roto separately and combined that. There is no separate input node for alpha in marker removal. So we will insert alpha in main pipe. We will take copy node. As soon as I insert alpha, if you view from marker removal, all marker has gone. For making alpha, always keep some room between your roto and the actual edge. If you get some artifact or some not so cleaned frame, always check alpha on that frame because marker removal accuracy depends on your alpha accuracy of tracking mark. Now this is completely cleaned. So marker removal node actually cleaned on every frame. So it's retained the lighting change and color change. If you check the marker removal node, there is two option in paint type, bilinear and radial. As soon as you select the radial, all other knobs will be disabled. And if if you view from here, now you can see some artifact is happening because in radial mode, radial taken whole alpha in to the consideration and it's a stretching pixel from center of the alpha to outwards. So if you view from here, radial taking consideration this as a center and a stretching pixel outward. So whenever you use radial option, don't use all roto combined. In radial mode, you have to use separate roto for each marker and for each marker, you have to use separate marker removal load and that will make your script heavy. So it's always advisable whenever you are using this type of nodes, always do pre comp So just check this is combined alpha. If I take roto for just this tracker node and use separately, not combined. So now you can see it's taking this alpha center and a stretching pixel outwards. And if I combine all, it's taking center here and a stretching outward. Most of the time, bilinear works better and it has also more control. This is by linear y search actually this is the linear search and this value denotes the pixel so this is actually the search area whenever you are doing cleanup marker removal will look up to 100 pixel to search the pattern to fill the roto x offset and y offset to understand it better i have done one roto suppose sometimes in some scenario you have roto like this you have to maintain some edge but whenever you just use that some stretching of edge happening in that scenario we want to offset the sample area so if i just offset the sample it's gone yeah you have to nudge that value and find the sweet spot and same way when you are in up or down some is is colliding with your pattern then you can y offset this way marker removal sometimes save you by the quick cleanup so after done everything just remove this stabilization and just track the roto remove this invert roto and now check so this is the quick cleanup i hope it's helpful we will talk about in pent node in next part thank you please share your valuable feedback